you give us your, your full names and tell us what you play in the band? Ray Herndon. I play guitar and, and uh, a little bit of fiddle, and I sing. And I'm Ron Herndon, Ray's brother. I play keyboards, and I sing sometimes, too. And I'm Jay David Sloan, and I play acoustic guitar, a real little bit of fiddle. <laughs> a little bit. And I sing, too. <laughs> And tell me a little bit about uh, the band, the name of the band, and what uh, kind of music people are going to hear tonight. Well, tonight they're going to hear both country and western, <laughs> and then some. But the band, actually, the Herndon Brothers started in 1986. Both Ron and I played at Mr. Lucky's for about five years, and then we came back to Handlebar in 1986 and started the Herndon Brothers. A short while ago, two years approximately, uh, we came up with an idea to do this thing called Back to Lucky's Night. And we invited our buddy J. David Sloan from Mr. Lucky's to come out here and play with us. One thing I also wanted to ask about uh, that makes the band a little bit different uh, that we're gonna see tonight is, uh, in a manner of speaking, the band is very horny. You have a horn section. <laughs> we, yes. It is a horny band. In more ways than one. Yes. <laughs> well, Ron actually, back Growing up, he played the trumpet, yeah. and so he was with a band years ago here in, in uh, the Phoenix area that traveled all over. And I was a kid, and he was a kid really. Um, but it was called the Gringos, and they were a horn band, and that's our nephew Kevin. <laughs> yeah, well, we play a lot of music that has it, it's always had horn parts in it, but we used to play it without the horn. So Ray had this idea: Hey, let's get these guys to play horns. And uh, when we did, we had them put the horn parts together. It's just, it's so much fun for us to have yeah. that because we never had it before. And it's just, you know, when people hear it, they're like, oh man. That's great. That's, and, you know, you have the venue for a long run. Um, tell me a little bit about Handlebar J and uh, its role in uh, Arizona music. Wow. wow. There's a lot of history there. Yeah, it's, well, you know, my mom and our mom, mom and dad started working here about 1967, 68. Uh, my dad was in the band, my mom was a waitress. And uh, in 1975, the owners, George and Joni Louds, who were incredible folks, and they started, the, you know, they came up with the name Handlebar J. Handlebar Mustache was George Louds had a Handlebar Mustache, and his wife's name was Joni, that's where the J comes from. And so when, when they got religion, took the bar out, it didn't work. A bar at the handlebar just doesn't. No bar at the handlebar doesn't work. Yeah. So my, my folks came in and we put the bar back in, and uh, my dad played here, and uh, it's just continued on. Our dad got sick in 1979 and passed away in '81 with cancer. My mom pretty much single-handedly kept this place going all those years. Um, a lot of great artists would come through here. Glenn Campbell and uh, gosh. Listen, everybody from anybody has been here. Um, Brooks and Dunn, Toby Keith, mm -hmm. Kenny Chesney, I mean, Vince Gill, almost you name it. Hank Williams Jr. Yeah? Yeah, just name it. They've all been. Chris Christopherson. I mean, yeah. all these guys have been on stage with us. So it's, it's yeah, it's great. So a lot of people, a lot of people know Hannibal. When you're in Scottsdale, you got to go to Hannibal Day.